Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. And today on the channel, we're making some smoked crab cakes. So I'm gonna show you how to do crab cakes a little bit of a different way because typically they're fried, but today, not so. They're just gonna be smoked to perfection. And we're gonna make a little lemon sriracha uh, dipping sauce to go with them. Absolutely incredible. And listen, this is gonna be super, super easy. This video is probably not even gonna be very long. So let's get started. All right, we start with one pound of jumbo lump crab meat. And this crab meat came from Woolies Seafood Market down in the Strip District of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I talk about them all the time. And listen, you can get your own jumbo lump crab meat at a 10% discount if you go to woolly.com and order it online with the promo code Holy Smokes. Now before we utilize this in our crab cake mixture, I need to open it up and strain it and then kind of go through it a little bit to make sure there's no pieces of shell in there. And once that is done, here is our gorgeous crab meat. Holy cow, look at that. Holy smokes. That's that crab meat from Woolies, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the best you can get. All right, now let's go ahead and mix up all of our ingredients for these incredible crab cakes. This can be very simple, just combining a bunch of stuff in the bowl with the meat and then forming it. So we got our one pound of crab meat. Next comes one egg. Next, about three tablespoons of mayonnaise about a tablespoon of Dijon, a little bit of hot sauce, use whatever you like. I'm using this truff hot sauce, which is made with black truffles. About that much. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. You could add it as separate ingredients, but I'm using the all-purpose GSP rub from Pit Boss, which is garlic, salt, and pepper. Not a ton, maybe a teaspoon. A little bit of parsley flakes. and about a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna go in with my hand and mix this all together. Oh man, it's smelling incredible already. Wow. All right, now it's time to form this into crab cakes. This is gonna be a little bit different than say patting burgers because this crab meat is very delicate and we don't want it to kind of smoosh up. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of a different technique today and we're gonna make these uh, not necessarily just flat uh, crab cakes, but more kind of like flat on the bottom and rounded on the top. Kind of like that. Go ahead and make this next one. Just forming it together there. Get a little pat. Like that. Number two. Go ahead and do the rest of these here. All right, there we go, nine crab cakes. Now in hindsight, I realized that I shouldn't have put these on parchment because parchment does not mix well with the smoker and heat, because uh, it's just gonna burn. So we're gonna replace that with foil. So I'm just gonna grab this off of here, preserving the integrity of these beautiful crab cakes, and then we will replace this with some foil. All right, there we go, much better. All right, now this is not gonna take super long today. We're gonna put this on the Pit Boss Platinum Series Lockhart at 180 degrees Fahrenheit for only about 10 or 15 minutes. That's just to start to get at some of that smoke flavor. After that, I'm gonna come back out and I'm gonna crank the temperature to get this 450 degrees. And I'm gonna leave the crab cakes in there the whole time so they can absorb that heat. And then we're gonna finally pull them when the internal temperature reaches 155 degrees Fahrenheit. While they're on the smoker, we'll throw together this quick and easy sauce and then it'll all be ready at the exact same time, and I can't wait to try it. So let's get these crab cakes on the smoker. All right, and now in we go, 180 degrees. All right, for this delicious sauce today, we start with a little bit of mayo. Next, we're gonna add some sriracha, and add as much or as little as you want. I like mine hot, so I like to add a decent amount. And then the juice of about one half of a lemon. Let's give that a mix here. All right, there it is, look at that. Beautiful consistency. Let's give it a little taste. Needs a little something, and I believe that little something is a little bit of GSP. A little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper. Mix that in. Oh wow, I could smell that already. Yeah, that's what we needed. There we go. All right, friends, there is that sauce. Ooh, that's gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna set this aside, and we'll go back to our crab cakes. 
All right, it's been about 15 minutes, and now it's time to go ahead and crank this up on the Lockhart to 450 degrees. And now this is gonna heat up, and I'm leaving the crab cakes inside, and we're gonna check back in on them every now and then, and we're gonna pull them when they're nice and golden brown. And after about another 20 minutes, here they are. Look at that. Woo, look at that color. Let's take a look at one on the bottom here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that color. Oh, man. That is going to be next level. We'll bring in the presentation board here. And then we'll place these gorgeous crab cakes. Just like that, we'll add in our homemade sriracha lemon sauce. And a little bit more parsley for some added color there. And there you have it. Man, that is gorgeous. Look at that. I can just taste those crab cakes. Oh, they're gonna be so good. All right, man, these things smell incredible. Cannot wait to give them a try. So let's go ahead and give one a shot here. Again, love the bottom of that. It's gonna allow a little bit of crunch there. Get some of this delicious sauce, just dip it right in. And here we go smoked crab cakes. Oh man. Oh, it's so rich. Incredible flavor. Incredible flavor. Incredible flavor. Holy meat smokes. When you come together, holy smokes. This is delicious. Oh, don't sleep on this sauce. Mm. Perfect amount of tang. Perfect level of heat. I'd probably add more sriracha next time though. Man, this is dynamite. Hey, get yourself some lump crab meat. Try this recipe, put it in the smoker. The extra amount of flavor you get from that smoke is so perfect. Well, thanks once again for tuning into the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel as we enter year number three. So excited for what's to come. If you like this video, make sure that you click that like button. Click the thumbs up, that gives us a like and that helps other people find the channel. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on the post notifications. Click that little bell so you're one of the first people to know as soon as we post new delicious outdoor cooking content. And if you love seafood, you're my new best friend because I also love seafood. And I want you to check out this video right here. It's one of my all time favorite seafood recipes that we've made here on the channel. And I will see you next time.